You only visit me when you want something. What are you talking about? I brought you this handsome young specimen. And I'm sure he has stories. I hope it's till Christmas. A miracle lasts that long. So yeah, I need a friend today. It's not really for you. I don't see why not. We need seven minutes in heaven, in the bunker. I'm not in the mood to indulge. Fascistic hours of operation mean nothing to me. Come on. No, really though, nothing doing. It's Sunday. You know better than to waltz in here asking bunker time this late on a Sunday. Please. Gee, please. I'm not a giraffe. I can only stick my neck out so far for you. This is life and death, baby. If you don't fucking do me a solid here, you will have blood on your hands. So Grecian. I have many names. And in... Yeah. Give his little kids. He's past praying for. <laughs> what a brave antiquarian you are. Mm. You're a real fire in the funhouse, but you never come to my mixers. Come on, put me in the bunker. <laughs> we want it so bad. Just a tiny taste. <laughs> Knock yourself out. You'll keep this young man company, won't you? So, you must be looking for a mom. That's right. Woodrow and Arden helped me with that too, a few years ago. Oh, yes? Hmm. When I was around your age, I was a southern, overweight, bespeckled spaz who read too much Bronte sisters secretly wanted to be a librarian and dreamed of sitting on a fireman's prick. I was raised by white fundamentalist circus folk who had once been accused of orchestrating the murder of an abortion doctor while he was at his prayers in church. But they thought Methodists were all godless anyway. My and Pa also brewed sour beer in a big old fashioned tub they moved around on wheels. They tried to train the uh, performing bears to help as manual laborers in this venture. The bears broke into the supply, developed a raging predilection for moonshine, and my Down syndrome brother lost an arm during a poker game. Oh, it's really fascinating. Well, I've also always been an amateur etymologist, so I can tell you a thing or two about the origins of fascination. I'm processing a lot right now. Sure you are. How I do go on. But it was a vigorously challenging life to grow up with. I know more I feel than I need to know about being a part in the world and about having worlds a part of myself. Well, but the day-to-day -day irons out the metaphysics. I thought I had myself well enough considered uh, by 30 and politely settled down in a context that fit more comfortable. But Something happened right before the new millennium, and after my parents were taken out by the Department of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms during a long foreseen raid on their encampment. It's not something I can describe very well, though. I understand. I'm sorry your parents are dead. Well, I really love them. I think love is understanding something beyond its ability to be understood. But when they died, the whole problem of family, it ripped wide open at the seams. I woke up one day and could see through the hierarchies as if they were made of the thinnest gauze. Um, what we mean to each other, what we could mean. And I didn't understand it. I admitted to myself the plurality of experience and perverting the codified became an obsession. The probable is but a function of the possible to divorce yourself from your foundations and fan out along all the multiple horizons. It's getting intimate with God, which means flirting with the dissociative insanity of prophets. <laughs> and I wonder why Stephen left me. Do you have a boyfriend? I'm straight. 
So spaghetti till you heat it up. I had a girlfriend once in college. Hmm. Stephen was unnerved at certain things, like how if I heard church bells in my sleep, I would somnambulate to the car and drive to the nearest store for milk. He disappeared around the time I got involved with the agency. Finding out about my biological parents was just one attempt at expansion, of redefining how and what my family was and is. The varied manners I could perform, being the son, the brother, the prodigal relativity, the etc. itching at the strictures. Letting the pot boil too long so the water froths up and evaporates. Did you find them? Or your, your mother at least? Yes, I did. How did it go? It's really hard to say. But I'm still here. But what was the process like? Akin to hearing church bells in your sleep and then somnambulating to the car and driving to the nearest store for milk, but the store is locked. There's a party inside, attended by everybody you ever loved, everybody who ever loved you, everybody you ever hurt, everybody who ever hurt you. In the dim light through the foggy storefront, it's hard to distinguish them from their supposed qualities. And then for comfort or derangement, it's hard to remember if you could ever tell, or for the sheer desire to join the party inside, you scheme up your entrance, but then horrendously, you wake up and realize it was all a dream. Was it worth it? Why, well, yes. We're gonna take these. What is it? I won't be able to tell you until I know. I don't know if you'll find what you're looking for on this journey, but whatever you end up with, I hope it's really grand. I hope it's fascinating.